at uh, cancer facilities like MD Anderson before he changed careers and decided to become a dentist because my mom got pregnant. It was a quicker career path. Uh, epigenetics, the death of genetic theory of disease transmission. My dad said, this is all just mainline science that's been known uh, for decades, but none of it's implemented. And he said, this is completely groundbreaking, though, that it's all been put together and that he was involved in so much animal testing, but not mean animal testing, humane animal testing by feeding animals the trace elements and things they needed versus the ones that weren't getting it when he was a top uh, zoologist veterinarian. I'm not going to reintroduce all that today with Dr. Wallach, but the book is by Joel D. Wallach, uh, B.S. D.V.M. N.D., and also uh, by Ph.D. Uh, and others. And we're going to go over all of that today. Uh, but it's got three authors. Epigenetics, this could change everybody's lives. Because, yes, genes affect us, but there's switches. And that's the issue. There's nature, but there's also nurture. And so uh, Dr. Uh, Joel D. Wallach is here with us. The book is available at InfoWarsStore.com. So you get valuable information and you also support everything else we're doing for free speech. So find out there. He also heads up Longevity, or, or, or is the founder of it and the researcher. His son heads it up. He's separate from it. And you can find all that at InfoWarsHealth.com or InfoWarsTeam.com if you want to become a distributor. But we're not going to harp on that too much today. This book, forward uh, by uh, Jeffrey S. Uh, Bland, Ph.D., is your masterwork what do they call that your magna opus great job tell folks about the book and thank you for coming to visit us here in austin well thank you so much uh, alex gosh what a great introduction i really really appreciate that and appreciate being picked up by your dad at the airport what a great guy first time i met him just super super well he works with us full time now yeah obamacare he he was managing uh, uh over 20 dental offices and, and medical facilities and he went ahead and stopped doing that well you got a great man there <laughs> you just really enjoyed him from the airport thank you thank you but, um, yeah, the book uh, represents uh, 40 years of collecting information, plus my own personal research uh, with universities, the National Institutes of Health, the National Science Foundation. And, by the way, when it comes to um, care of animals, I'm one of the five authors of the Animal Welfare Act of 1964 to protect animals from cruelty. Uh, because medical doctors, when they'd have laboratory animals on experiments, they'd go away with the weekend and they wouldn't pay anybody to clean up after them and feed them and water them. And they would eat each other, cannibalize each other over the weekends. And they would make up data to finish the experiment because the animals had eaten each other because they didn't take care of them. So I wrote this uh, Animal Welfare Act, which has passed in 1964. It's been in place since then. So I'm very proud of that. And I've had your lawyers on that are some of the most famous lawyers out there. You have, are responsible and longevity for most of the big cases, keeping supplements legal. I mean, I mean, literally, people ought to be kissing your butt. But most folks don't even know. People don't know who Chuck Yeager is now. <laughs> they just don't know anything. Mm. Well, yeah, Jonathan Emore, the lawyer, uh, he actually helped us um, uh, sue the FDA eight times in federal court. We prevailed every time. Um, and we, in one case, we actually went up to the Supreme Court and they signed off on the suit and we won it by default. Uh, uh, so very proud of those things. And because of that, we have folic acid in prenatal vitamins to prevent spina bifida now. Um, that was your discovery. That was it. And then also uh, we got uh, the ability to say you can prevent stroke and coronary thrombosis and pulmonary embolism by supplementing with omega-3 essential fatty acids. I got that one through through a lawsuit. This is too important. Skip the network break. Keep going. Okay. And then the, the one I really love is you can prevent cancer by supplementing with selenium. And they just fought tooth and nail to keep that. But finally, they admit that. Well, they didn't admit it, but the federal judge gave it to us. Okay. But, but I mean, in mainline medical literature, they now admit that. Well, yes. I mean, they admit if you don't have this, you're going to get this. I mean, your genes, your body needs this. Well, you've said it exactly right, uh, Alex. Uh, and that's the whole... I'll read your book. <laughs> <laughs> you said exactly right. That uh, you can have the greatest genes in the world, but if you don't give them the raw materials, and your dad and I had this great discussion about the minerals that are necessary as cofactors and catalysts for the genes to work, for the DNA to work, for the RNA to work, uh, you can have uh, DNA that will get you to live to be 200 in a healthful way, but if you're not getting these cofactors, you might die of 48 of a heart attack, even though you have the, the potential or capacity to, to get to and that's been proven by the marathon runners or some of the shortest-lived people because they're not getting the minerals. Exactly, and they sweat out what they do get. 
Yeah, they're drinking three minerals, not all the dozens more they need. That's right. The sports drinks that they use preferentially because of advertisement uh, has two minerals in it. The next one has six minerals. Our uh, rebound has 100 nutrients in it, including 77 minerals. And now it's the hottest thing in the NBA. Exactly. NBA, the hockey leagues in Canada, the United States, the soccer leagues. And uh, we have uh, the, the um, Harlem Globetrotters, the entire team uses it. The, um, uh, what is it, the, um, uh, the team from um, uh, Colorado, uh, the Denver Nuggets, they, the entire team uses this stuff. And so we're very, very excited about this because they're setting the example. It's very tragic. We have about 10,000 kids under the age of 18 who do drop dead suddenly each year. From Playing basketball. In ba almost all basketball players. And they kept wondering why. And then it's, just... it's a selenium deficiency. They get cardiomyopathy, heart attacks. The heart needs a selenium. It's electrochemical. It runs out of gas. Zip. Exactly. And it causes sudden death. And uh, I went to China and actually did 1,700 autopsies on kids under the age of 10 that died in Qishan province from this disease. Got it published. And, um, and it was for other things, but um, for cystic fibrosis and muscular dystrophy, which are more stories. But... Um, and, and so all these uh, pieces of information are in this book, Epigenetics, and it teaches people how to maximize their life. Uh, well, I mean, our genetics are the same as they were 50 years ago. Why is breast cancer up 3,000%? No one, dis well, well, we know there's glyphosates. We're not getting the proper minerals. I mean, it's real simple. I, I mean, but, but they never want to discuss why all these diseases are off the chart. You know the story of Ted Anderson's dad had Alzheimer's. Oh, yes. And then uh, he literally came back, knew who he was, could go fishing, had short-term, long-term memory. And the doctor said, hey, you got vitamin K in your blood. Are you eating spinach? You're not supposed to be doing that. I have you on Coumadin, so you want to have strokes. And ordered him off, and they followed the order, and his dad didn't know who he was in a month. I, I mean, that's literally like sacrificing yourself. And it, I have the authorization to tell the story, so I tell it. Where people do what the doctor tells them. Well, you, you've got your finger on the pulse of what is happening. I just really appreciate you so much because of that. I think you're probably the most well-informed person in America. And um, the, uh, you're exactly right. Uh, doctors just look at charts. And I, I think I used to think they're criminals, but I think they're just ignorant. And uh, Well, they have you, you, uh, dead doctors don't lie. You're syndicated radio program. Tell us about that. I mean, that doesn't lie. They don't live too long. Well, the average lifespan, Alex, of a medical doctor is 56 why would anybody want to listen to somebody whose average lifespan is 56 uh, to learn how to live to be 100 and healthy? I want to listen to an old black lady in East Texas who lived to be 106 because she ate clay out of her backyard every week. Ah, well, she was getting minerals, wasn't she? Yeah, I mean, those old black women, they, they go, you can see them to this day, and other people now copy them, and they sell it. As you know, That's they go, and they, they smell it, they taste it, and they get the clay out of the clay banks. And just like you'll catch pregnant women, you know, wanting clay, wanting dirt. That's because what do deer go? They'll go and find dirt that has salt and minerals and start eating it. That's what mammals do. You're exactly right. And, of course, these, the Indian nations, Alex, used to fight wars over clay beds because they knew that their women would be fertile, they'd have normal births, the children would be born without birth defects <coughs> if these women got access to the clay. <coughs> it was very, very important uh, for the survival of their nations. And... Um, uh, we got into trouble. We know the exact moment that happened. It was at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4th, 1882, on Pearl Street in New York City. Uh, it, uh, our health ended in America. And at that moment, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4th, 1882, on Pearl Street in New York City, Thomas Edison pulled the switch on the first commercial electric generating plant. Within 10 years, Alex, every uh, industrialized nation switched from wood as the universal fuel to electricity. What happened was we no longer had the source of trace minerals and, and major minerals that we've been using for nutritional supplements for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, which was wood ashes, which we'd been putting in the garden. Well, now we went to electricity. We didn't have the wood ashes anymore, so we lost that source. We dammed up the river to make more electricity and stop the flooding, so we didn't have the silt being re-impregnated into the fields every year when the river flooded. Stop that. After 25 years of the plant sucking the minerals out of the soil... We had to go to chemical fertilizers just to get yields and growth. That then killed the microbes. You got it. No nutrition, no microbes, and that's why America is sick. And that's Now, look at that incredible chain reaction that's on record mm -hmm. that's in your book. The book's just, you can't put it down, folks. This is every page is like that with all the footnotes. Mm -hmm. And when you know history, it's even more intriguing because you know it's true. It's just like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, this is incredible. Think of all the GMO and all the stuff they're doing now, what the chain reactions of that are going to be. 
Well, you have no defenses because you don't have any nutrition unless you're supplementing with the 90. Um, Which is in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Exactly. 2.0. You got a 2.0. That's my favorite. The 2.0, you're getting all 90 essential nutrients. And if you don't have those things, you cannot protect yourself against uh, the, all the chemicals in our environment and our food. You just can't do it. Well, I've been doing Beyond Tangy Tangerine now the 2.0 for about three years, uh, four years, and it's been life-changing for me. I mean, I was really unhealthy. I'm still not as good as I should be, but it's been a big reversal. I've turned the ship around. Uh, I've lost over 50-plus pounds now. I've got more energy than I ever had, uh, and it is all the supplementation. And the other supplements I took, I didn't know they were chemical. I didn't know they were synthetic. I didn't understand why they weren't working. And so I was like, I'm not going to take supplements. But when I use the Longevity products at InfoWarsHealth.com or when I use the InfoWarsLife.com uh, products that we've developed, you know, it, 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 it's simple, but it's pure, it's organic. It's supercharged, and I'm literally high as a kite on life now. Well, you're high as a kite. I've never seen anybody with as much energy as you have. I want to do what you're doing. <laughs> oh, one cup of coffee a day now. So. <laughs> well, of course, uh, uh, we're a coffee company, too, so we love coffee. And um, uh, I'm very excited that... Uh, it has a lot of health benefits, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, coffee itself has been shown to reduce risk of Parkinson's disease, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and so there's tremendous health benefits of coffee because of the antioxidants in the coffee. Coffee's an herb. Wonderful stuff. We love it. Ours, of course, is Java Fit. Great uh, uh, coffee. And um, we bought our own uh, plantations now in Nicaragua. And so we know they're organic because we make sure they're organic. And we built schools there for the kids, for all the people who work the plantations. Uh, they're fair trade. They're all organic. And uh, it, it, our coffee's just going crazy. Awesome. Uh, let's expand uh, on the documentation in the book. I mean, just, just go through it chapter by chapter if you can. This is the one book everybody needs to read. Absolutely. Of course, uh, the, it, people have to appreciate, Alex, that the halls of science are filled with failed medical theories. Thousands of failed medical theories over the years. Okay, I'm going to interrupt again, and I'm gonna just, I am want them to turn my mic off because I'm just going to say this. This is what's so powerful here. Mm -hmm. This isn't even just about epigenetics. You assault the cult and all the other failed cults and prove that it's a failed cult and if we don't turn it around, we're dead. Uh, break it down. Okay. Well, uh, the, the important part, the reason why people have to spend the time to read the book and do what it asks them to do is because our children are not going to live as long as us. Uh, our children are the first generation that experts say will not live as long as their parents. And that's because there's no nutrition in the food and they're following the false precepts of the medical system. Now, you go back to the beginning of time, uh, when things were written down in hieroglyphics and, and stone art and things, uh, doctors and physicians and philosophers and shamans and sorcerers believed that disease was caused by evil spirits. And the way to protect yourself was to burn goats to the evil spirits and make them happy, and then they'd look kindly upon you. And the Greeks thought spontaneous uh, generation maggots just came out of meat. That's exactly right, spontaneous generation. And then another one was uh, the four humors. And if they didn't, uh, black bile, yellow bile, phlegm, and blood, and if, if you were sick, that means they were out of balance. And they invented bloodletting about uh, 2,000 years ago. They killed our first president, George Washington, who had dodged all the bullets from the British. And The, the father of psychiatry killed him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> killed him by bloodletting. And they still did bloodletting in America up until 1920. Now, here comes one that just, I've been looking for this for 35 years, and I found it, Alex. And that is the first um, uh, scientific article that showed that saturated fats were unhealthy and the vegetable oils and the unsaturated fats, uh, olive oil, coconut oil, were healthy. I've looked for 35 years, and I finally found it two months ago in a two-full-page article in the Wall Street Journal. They did research, two full pages. The story goes back to 1901. There was a German scientist uh, by the name of uh, Wilhelm Norman who invented a um, uh, machine lubricant for big factories. He made it out of um, uh, cottonseed oil and uh, also using a little cofactor called copper to turn it into a solid. Uh, and they couldn't sell it um, as soap because people were making soap. And so Procter & Gamble bought it from him and sold it as a food called Crisco. And they killed animal fats, butter and cream, and lard to sell Crisco. And, and they had propagandists like Eber Bernays come out and demonize it. 
We're going to come back and talk about that. This is amazing. How they changed the markets and how they manipulated humanity. Yes. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones.